morning from Dallas, Texas. We are here at Funny Car Chaos. Chaos! Woo! Good morning from Funny Car Chaos in Dallas, Texas. We are here to run the little nostalgia car at Chaos for the final race of the year. Part of the whole stampede of speed thing that Texas Motorplex is doing for the Dallas race. Hello, darling. So, over the past, honestly, month and a half, go away, Lucy, I have been working on a surprise for Dad, and it's something only a few people know about. But in Vegas, Dad is putting me in the nostalgia car that we're running this weekend to start teaching me how to drive, and I am super excited for it. And I wanted to do something to kind of thank him. So, I got these shirts made with the nostalgia car and both of our names and he doesn't know about it yet it's a surprise so we're going to go out and surprise them with the sh ooh, surprise him with the shirts here let's do this hey dad i got you a present dude where'd you get that that's cool as <laughs> where'd you get that i like it i had them made i like that dude can i put it on can you hold that Terry and McKaylin, that is. I wasn't gonna spring the surprise until Vegas, but I'm gonna try and sell some of them, so. That awesome, buddy, that makes me happy. These shirts are available for sale. There's a link at the top of the description for you guys to get them and help us out. Uh, it was really cool being able to surprise Dad with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, we've got a Terry Haddock Racing Shopify set up. So it's the first link in the description, so go check it out. All right, let's get this car warmed up. All right, we're about to tow up the line. It's so cool sitting in this car because in three weeks it's gonna be I'm gonna be driving it which is crazy to think about it's cool how much you can see like um, dad references it to it as inside versus outside of a microwave it's looking it's like looking out of a microwave in this car or in the other car it's like you're looking in and trying to be able to see which is pretty cool so I'm excited to get to drive it in a few weeks it'll be fun this thing's one bad member, Jim. All right. Sometimes I question his sanity. Oh yeah, this this is cool. I'm excited for uh, Vegas. Hi, welcome to Applebee's. What could I get for you today? All right, we're walking up to get a track temp, set the tire pressure on the funny car. Uh, I think we're about halfway through all of the funny cars so far for the first session. Four twenty 
28. Why'd you pedal it? Because it shook so freaking hard. Did it? And I'll bet it finally had a good 60 easy. foot, huh? Yeah, it had a good 60 foot. That's the best I've it's seen it lift. It's the best it's ever lift. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen it lift. I know we'll it looks like a slug. Thank you, guys. And a glove. What was it? Got to perform acrobatics to get into this car. There's so much room for activities. All right, we're towing it back. Dad thinks it had a really good 60 foot. He had to pedal it because it was shaking like really bad. I'm not really sure where it was shaking really bad. Um, but um, not really sure what we do to service this car either. He might have to put a clutch in it but we'll find out when we get back to the pit. Also, this car is kinda slow compared to the big car. I've seen a couple of comments asking me to explain packing the parachutes. And so this is that video. The first thing that you have to do is get it all untangled. So this piece right here, this is called a pilot chute. This is the part that springs out when the parachute cord is pulled and pulls the rest of the parachute out. So first thing you do is you kind of pull the parachute out with the pilot chute. Then you come back over here and you start at the base of them and you go out from there and run the cords through your hands to make sure everything is straight and organized. And then sometimes you have to kind of fight it a little bit. Sometimes it requires a lot of fighting. So when doing this, it's kind of always a mess because at the top end, they all spin around each other and do goofy stuff. So getting them all untangled is always kind of a chore that is not, sometimes it goes easy, sometimes it's a real pain. There we go. So I had to screw with it quite a bit and it really fought me, but I got her to work. So what you do is you pull them out and there's all these like corners for lack of a better term, kind of fold them onto each other so that like, like this and hold them in your fingers and then you lay it on the ground. You pull out the pilot chute cord and make sure it's tight. And you go through and these, where the cord attaches to the parachute, you're gonna make sure all of them are in a row. That way, nothing can kinda get messed up. And then we come along the rest of the chute and just make sure everything's even. Cause to fit it in the parachute pack, it has to be as neat and organized as possible. So pull it tight, make sure all of these are lined up, and then you fold it over on itself. This end kind of stays loose because that's just how it's put together. And then you reach under, use your hand, gonna fold it kind of into a square onto itself. And just fold it up. Okay. Now, we pick this up. Take it over to the car. And I set it down upside down. Make sure everything's still nice and folded and organized. And we'll get the chute pack off of the back of the car. Now that we have the pack, I'm gonna kinda prop it open. 
and the cord is going to come out of this bottom right corner. So this cord needs to come out of this bottom right corner here. And you take the cord that holds in, uh, that holds the parachutes and kind of wind it up inside of this pack. And you want to kind of condense it as much as possible because you need as much room inside of this pack as possible. Now that it's mostly wound up here inside of the pouch, I'm going to take this pack, flip it back over so it's right side up. I need the pilot chute. And we're going to kind of stuff her in. And you take this piece of paracord and this little loop that you've got in the pilot chute. You thread it through. Now this is the difficult part. Got to kind of press this down as much as possible. And then you go through the bottom loop. And keeping this spring compressed is quite the job. Once it's through here, it really won't go anywhere as long as you keep your thumb on it. So it's a matter of Bam. Now, once a Macon grabs me a flag, I'll just put it through here and this parachute is packed. is setting we're about to go up for the last qualifying attempt today and hopefully we go fast as of the end of the first session we didn't run the second session because it was just gonna be hot and not run well as of the end of the first session we were 16th so the way funny car chaos works is there's four fields there's a b c and d and there's eight cars in each field so right now we were dead last in um, B field. So we'll see if we can move that up a little bit. I just came up and checked. We are currently sixth in C field after the second session. So we've got to step up our run a little bit and try and get back into the B session. And All right, 
Time to get track temp again. Let's see what it is. Also, there are some really, really cool funny cars here. All these old cars and some new cars. This just the variety is really cool. 83.8, so we can set tire uh, pressure. I am going to have to check it again when we get closer because we've been waiting for a little while, but I'm gonna stay on top of it. Also, this Outlaw Field Dragster that we've got here is really, really cool. Dad used to have one like that. Front engine dragster, it's now in Don Garlitz's museum. Where are we, oh, we're over here. We're stuck on another oil down right now. I'm not sure what's going up on up here, but I ran back to grab some snacks and uh, drinks for the guys. You got some snacks? You got some drinks? Time to get back. Hey, it sounds like they are running cars again, so I really need to get back quickly. I am a semi-professional race car driver. Okay, we have to do a little bit of light off-roading here. Oh! I am a semi-professional off-roader. So behind me over there, there is a big stage because tomorrow and Sunday there's going to be a pile of concerts here from Wade Bowen to Elvis Shane and all kinds of guys, Brett Young, and over here, over here is a uh, rodeo ground. So Sunday is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to stay up here for most of the day and then uh, we'll come back or we'll go back up to the shop Sunday night, I'm guessing, but it'll be fun to stay and check that stuff out for a couple hours. We just ran a 426, we're going down to the top end to get him. Heather said that it had a hole out, but that was a good run, we're in the show for sure, so. How you doing, Mr. Macon? All is well, my friend. We got the rack out of the car and everything's good to go, but it is nearly midnight, so we're going to put it back together in the morning. Um, so that's a wrap on day one of the Funny Car Chaos Finals. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things, and never give up.